Horizontal Alignment Welcome to video session on how to design horizontal alignment for a highway using eSurvey CAD Road Design module. In the previous video, we have learned how to import point data from CSV, Excel and AutoCAD files. Once the ground surface is ready, we can go ahead with horizontal alignment design. In Road Design module, all the functionalities related to horizontal alignment are defined in horizontal tab. You can create multiple alignments with one parent alignment. Generally, proposed center line of the project will be parent alignment. We can also define super elevation, extra widening. We can also design alignment for strengthening and widening projects. This data stored can be used to prepare the cross sections as the design input. 1. Importing Horizontal Tangent Lines Designing horizontal alignment starts with drawing tangent lines in base map. Open the drawing with base map and draw the tangent lines for the proposed alignment. Go to eSurvey CAD menu, select Road Design, Export Alignment, EXAL in the CAD package. In eSurvey CAD, in Horizontal tab, select Import CAD, Import to see the imported horizontal tangent lines. In the alignment name, we see that PCL is the default name. PCL stands for Project Center Line. When you import the tangent line by selecting PCL as the alignment, imported tangent lines will be representing the PCL. 2. Adding and editing the names of the alignments. As indicated earlier, eSurvey CAD allows you to create multiple alignments in road design projects. The requirement comes when the road is designed considering left median edge LME, and right median edge RME, in case of divided carriage way or in strengthening and widening projects. To add multiple alignments, press the triple dotted button next to alignment name drop down and add the names of multiple alignments. If required, we can rename the alignment name on the screen. Press New to add new alignment names. Alignments you add can be at an offset distance from parent alignment or you can import specific tangent lines to an alignment depending on the requirement. If 5M median to be provided, we can create LME by giving offset of minus 2.5 M to parent alignment and RME can be created by giving 2.5 M offset to parent alignment. If we choose to import existing lines to any alignment, we can follow the steps as explained earlier. 3. Marking the changes of the alignment. It may be noted that change can be given only to the parent alignment. You can set any alignment as parent alignment in alignment name window. Select the parent chain age in horizontal alignment tab. Chain age button gets enabled. Click and specify factors like starting chain age, chain age interval in straight segments and curved segments and enable add chain ages at station point if chain ages are required at station points. Four, design standard setting. Before we design curves, it is time to set the parameters in design standard window. The design standard settings are given as per IRC. Click on design standard button. Select various parameters like transition curve type, terrain, road type, default number of lanes, default payment width, default normal camber. You can also configure design speed and rate of change of super elevation in this window. 5. Designing the horizontal alignment. You have to select alignment name which you want to design in the alignment drop down. You can see that all the apex points of the tangent lines are listed along with deflection angle. You can select all the apex points to fit the curves or depending on deflection angle you can specifically select required apex points individually or in multiples. 
Click on design button to see that all the horizontal curves are designed as per design standard settings. If we have added any alignment offset to parent alignment, then that alignment will also get updated. Note that these curves are designed for ruling speed as displayed in the design standard settings. In the design process, there may be some HIP points which are not designed. The reasons could be that consecutive curves or their respective super elevations are overlapping or a curve could not be fitted as per design standard settings. Sixth, editing the horizontal alignment. As we have seen in earlier steps, when we click on design, software will calculate curve for each apex point and in some cases it cannot calculate curve as it cannot fit curve as per IRC. The software will allow you to design curve with specific setting and even allows editing of curves designed automatically. Select the curve details sub tab in horizontal alignment tab. If the curve is under design, such points are shown with different color. On the curve setting screen, you can individually select each curve and change curve details such as radius, transition line length, etc. and update it. You may note that guiding design values are shown in the right side in the curve details group. If you wish to see an abstract of IRC 73, then click on reference table. You can click on the design button once again to see updated curve details. Seven, viewing the base map or topographical map. In eSurvey CAD, you can work with ground points and tangents to design curves. Tangent lines are first drawn in AutoCAD on the base map. Base map will include all the existing features of the corridor. Now, while you are designing the curve, if you wish to see the base map along with alignment, you have to select Topo file option and then select the drawing file having the base map. After selecting the base map, if you refresh the drawing, then you can see horizontal alignment along with the base map. The same thing can be done when you are working in the curve setting window. In curve setting window, you have additional option called lateral clearance. By giving lateral clearance distance on either side of the alignment with respect to selected alignment, you can visualize new alignment along with imaginary lines indicating lateral clearance. When you see the base map with lateral clearance line, you will come to know if there is any interference encountered with respect to any important feature. In such cases, you can take decision to change the curve parameters. 8. Importing CS data In eSurvey CAD, it is not necessary that you have to have point data for creating the base surface. It can be done with alternate method, that is, if you have survey data captured from auto level or any other instrument and if you have only offset distance and respective reduced level, then you can import such data which in turn creates the ground surface on the given alignment data. Note that the given alignment data has to be imported before importing cross-section data. To import cross-section data, click on Import CS Data icon, open the template and update the Excel file and save it. Select the Excel file by clicking on Browse button and import the same. Nine reports. You can generate many reports related to alignment with details of each curve. Thank you. In the next video, you will learn how to design vertical alignment, which is much simpler compared to horizontal alignment. Thank you.